Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we're going to cut open a metal detector board. Have you seen these things? They're at the airport, they're everywhere where there's security officers. But this week is a unique week because the entire city of DC shuts down and turns into a fortress. They have 80,000 estimated security guards, National Guard, police officers. They bring in police officers from other states that come in for this inauguration week. And they shut everything down a week before the event even starts. So this Friday is the inauguration where the new president is going to be in. And believe me, you're going to see a ton of these security ones. So we thought it'd be a perfect time to test this thing out. So when you turn it this way, it oh. beeps. I have strategically hidden metal things on my body. Lincoln, you have to try to find them. There's one in your hoodie, I guess. Oh, it. how did you know that? I don't know, it's just like the perfect place to put something. Oh. Right? It's half of the silver play button. <laughs> Good job, okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Cell phone, cell phone, okay. Where is it? Where? Right here? Yep. Let's see what it is. Oh, you found my hatchet. Dang it, I was hoping to hide that from you. <laughs> Something in my shoe? Oh no, it's a gun, he's got a gun. Don't worry, it's cut in half. Great. My belt, I did not strategically hide that, but it is metal. You can fit a lot of stuff on your body. So these things are very effective. Now you've seen how these things work. A couple weeks ago we had this unique experience where we were allowed to go to the US Capitol and we were allowed to ask one of the most senior ranking congressmen what his thoughts were on security. When was the time that you felt the most safe and the most unsafe? I, I basically feel pretty safe. There are times when I felt unsafe where you're outside and there's a disruption. Generally, that happens when you're out campaigning. I've always felt pretty secure. How has security changed here in D.C. since 40 years ago to today? They've always been very, very secure here. Capitol Hill police who really watch over this place. Yeah. There are times when they have to ramp up security. They, they check people pretty thoroughly. We're giving you behind the scenes access that a lot of people don't get. This right here is a special hideaway. Yep, this is what they call hideaway. So senators have hideaways. They have these rooms that's up here in the Capitol building, and this one's not the biggest room out of them all, but this is Senator Orrin Hatch's. And before Orrin Hatch, for about 20 years, this was Ted Kennedy's room. So the cool thing about this place is that this used to be the original Library of Congress. So the Library of Congress wasn't that big. They had books, but this room had all of the books. You can have people come up here and everything. Yeah, this is where Donald Trump is going to give a speech. All right, this is it. Right here, that view. This is where, yeah, you're right. So that's where the inauguration of the president takes place, right down there. When President Obama became president and at his inauguration, it went all the way back there to that memorial, like all of those grass fields. It looks like it only beeps when you move it. I can't get it to go all the way. So we'll still just leave it on, see what happens. It may or may not work. It is smoking. <laughs> We've got melted plastic, gooey melted plastic. That's actually pretty hot. The light still is on. I guess that means we just continue onward. The light is off. There's some sort of technology. The chips are inside the handle, it turns out. Because, yeah, the light doesn't work anymore. Oh, there's like a little part on the back side. <laughs> Look at that. This side is completely cut. Just rip it. This side over here, not so much. Okay, just rip One it. little part. Got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Awesome. There's the inside of it. You guys get to see it first. I, Lincoln, I, check it out. That is a really cool cross section. Is some of the, some of the burnt plastic out? Yeah, it's so black. Down here in this section. That, that's where the battery is? And then the chips are right here, up in the metal detector. Up at the very top, there's a bunch of copper wires, like right at the very top. But other than that, there's not much metal in these compartments. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five compartments 
within this body of the actual Garrett blade part of it. The very bottom is the battery, and actually it does look like the battery because it looks like you can take the bottom off, which we didn't do, and put a battery in it. The simplest way that I could figure out how this wand actually works is you see these metal coils at the top. There's actually an electrical current that flows throughout the entire wand, and it creates a magnetic field. And so once it gets close to an actual metal surface, the magnetic field from the surface of the metal gets within the zone of the wand, sets off the alarm, and makes it go. It's still a bit hot in here. I felt like I was singing a 50 Cent song. No, I'm just saying this thing is hot. <laughs> and that was really cool. That was one of the cleanest cuts that we've had with this saw. This saw has been with us since we did the bowling ball video a long, long time ago. Super thanks to Senator Hatch and his office for letting us come and have such an incredible experience. If you want to see the full what's inside the US Capitol, click on the video here at the end and you can watch that. It's on our family channel. It was super fun. And go subscribe to our family channel. We do lots of fun adventures of traveling and other crazy stuff lots on there. That is still what's inside. It's like what's inside family. Like we talk about our family and we show our family.